high. Last time I introduced traditional four cop. It's strategy good for beginners. And after you've played this and like get a generally good idea of like how it works, how to beat the gigas, how to suppress the jacks, it's time to move to cobblers. So today I'm going to introduce radio clock cobblers. So it's like like, like an optimized cobblers version of the front cobblers in the pool. So you may ask like without the cob cannons, how can one beat the gigas? Uh, but rem remember in traditional four cob, uh, we only relied on the cobs and the ice to beat the gigas. And for cobblers, we're going to further extract the, pot the potential of uh, our bombs, such as Doomshroom, Cherry Bomb, Jalapeno, and Squash. So like these bomb bombs combined with our glooms are still enough to like beat the gigas and also suppress the jacks. Okay, so let's modify our traditional four cob and change it to cobblers. So we can remove these cobs. And as you can see, our main damage still relies on these glooms. So like this structure is unchanged. So because the cobs, they free up a lot of space in the back. So we can put cattails instead of blubber. Because like the cattails, uh, because for cobblers, we need like seed slots to plant like all the bomb, the bombs. And like, so there's not a lot of space for blubber and the worst to like save a seed slot in, in order to like have choose more bombs. So, so cattails are better. And then uh, because in uh, cobblers, we don't have cobs to suppress jacks. Uh, we will need some extra ice rooms just in case like the zombies spawn very fast. And because we need sun to supply our to, to supply our bombs, we need more sunflowers. Uh, for this, I'm going to plant six sunflowers. Although like five should be enough in real gameplay, six is like more secure and it can like recover well if you make a blunder. And another problem in that is that for traditional four cob, re remember our card sequence for fast tempo. So we first use cob and jalapeno, and then uh, cob and cherry bomb. Uh, so the jalapeno here, it burns ice trail. So like it burns ice trail and then like um, so that we can plant cherry bomb on column 8. So normally like the zombies have a pretty high chance of leaving ice trail on column 8. So the jalapeno just helps clearing it. But for cobblers, because we don't have these two bombs, we have to use uh, jalapeno and cherry simultaneously. But then how can we like put cherry bomb there without the help of jalapeno? The answer is to add more winter melons so that the zombies are killed earlier. Uh, earlier before they're able to leave ice trail uh, on column 8. So that like even without jalapeno we can put cherry bomb here. And this gloom also helps kill the zombies. And also this gloom has another purpose. Uh, because uh, uh, in fast time we don't have these cobs to supply our jack suppression. So like uh, we don't have enough instance against jacks. So for fast time we put cherry and jalapeno on one side so we suppress row 5, but ignore row 2. So if we ignore row 2, then row 2 has like a low chance, although like, but not ignorable chance to explode. So if Jax killed these two glooms, uh, the rest of the structure, thanks to this gloom, is still able to kill the zombies and the footballs. So this prevents the zombies to crush further and just destroy everything. So that's, this is the purpose of that gloom. And because we added some new winter melons here on row 2 and modified the things a little bit, we need to modify the back. Note that I take out a gloom shroom, uh, a winter melon, but that's not too big of a deal. And let's ladder. So let's ladder in row 1 and row 2. I may like make a separate video on laddering, but if I don't, just like search up laddering on YouTube. There should be a, a lot of guides on laddering, it's, and it's not so difficult. And also you can use the cheat engine to ladder. I also have a separate video on that. So why don't I ladder row 6? Because uh, as you can see, like if we use cherry and jalapeno to suppress the jacks, uh, we don't have instance, any extra instance for row 6. So that's kind of like a problem. Uh, so in the wrap up, we typically use jalapeno on row 6 to just burn the rest of the gigas. And because the jalapeno will burn the ladders, so we don't ladder the lower half. Okay, so that is that's it for the theoretical parts. And also, if you uh, there are some variations of this setup, 
So this structure is called 9-6 because the front glooms are on column 9 and column 6. So there are also like variations based on this structure. For example, I can show you some. Like this is our radio clock. It's supposed to be like a balanced version. And this is mechanical clock. And this is quartz clock. And this is PE frost cobbles. This is single side acceleration. And this is limited jack suppression. So like each setup has like some special character characteristics. Like some is focused on like jack suppression, some on like hit like hitting gigas, some on error tolerance. But radio clock is like the most modern version and the most balanced version of all of those nine six stru structure cobblers. So I would strongly recommend radio clock. Mechanical clock is also good, by the way. So yeah, that's it for the theoretical part. And now. Let's see the main threads. So the main threads, because we have a similar structure as traditional 4 cob, it's the main threads are still Giga and Jack. So for Gigas, um, on row 2 and 5, you, you need to bomb them. Uh, you don't need to bomb them actually, you just need to like freeze them one or two times and they should die. And for row 1 and 6, as, as I said before, the firepower is weaker. So we need to at least bomb them once, that's the bare minimum. Uh, this can typically be done like when you use Doom or cherry jalapeno and even if they're not bomb you can use squash to just further squash them and if you bomb them once and just freeze them once or twice and stall them once or twice they will die and if you bomb them twice for example they're guaranteed to die so we will like uh, practice how to deal with gigas in row 1 and 6 later in the fast slow tempo and also some real gameplay and also uh, row 6 has an extra winter melon so it's more kind of resistant to the gigas than row 1 so for Jax, it's still similar uh, we still need to either bomb or freeze the Jax. Uh, so basically but just like the, the instants we use are a lot different because we don't have cops so for slow tempo, uh, we typically begin with Doom. So Doom, and then Cherry Jalapeno. And then just Ice, 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 Ice. So ice un so use Ice until the Doom recharges, and then go back to Doom again, and then Cherry Jalapeno, like this, and then Ice, Ice, Ice. So this is our cycle for slow tempo. Uh, you may ask, like, why don't I begin with Doom and then Ice? And then cherry jalapeno. It seems like uh, kind of inefficient to use our instance like doom, cherry, then cherry jalapeno simultaneously. But the problem is the coffee bean, it has some recharge. So like when the coffee bean is recharging, uh, so if I use doom and then use ice, the coffee bean won't recharge so that uh, the ice won't freeze the jack. It's not guaranteed to freeze the jacks before the jacks explode. So like uh, doom plus ice will have some risk. But Doom plus Cherry Jalapeno plus Ice will have no risk. So that is kind of the difference between like these two sequences. And that's for the slow tempo. And for the fast tempo, because uh, there are two ways. The first way is to still follow the Doom, Jalapeno, Cherry, and then Ice. Be but because the tempo is fast, we're going to use like a lot of Ice. So we have four Ice to store, and for each fast tempo, we may lose like uh, like two Ice, for example. and it's not that efficient and another way is just as i said before just to dump all of all of our instant on row five and ignore row two so 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 you want to uh, bring the uh gloom shroom seed packets in order to prevent the jacks from exploding and yeah so that is considered to be the more efficient way so minor threats as i said before just zombie football bungee gargantor just take care of them, I won't explain them, I won't repeat it. So that's the theoretical part. So let's begin with some real gameplay. Okay, so this is a slow tempo demonstration of radio clock cobblers. So as I said before, there are Giga, Normal Gargon Tour, and that's a traditional slow tempo. So we're going to bring Double Ice, Doom, Cherry, Jalapeno, Squash, and then cannon fodder fume shroom for error tolerance, just in case like the giga smash a fume and also pumpkin. So we will begin, as I said before, with the doom. Where should I put it? Uh, let me think. See here. Now we can store ice here. So we will begin with doom. 
so just put Coffee Bean on Im immediately when the zombies spawn. And then wave 2, Cherry Jalapeno. And the ice. Oh, it spawns late. So just wait for the other the next wave to spawn and then ice. And they can squash the zombies and the gigas and store an extra ice here. And don't forget to stall the footballs. I I don't have enough cannon fodder. So just continue to use ice until the Doom and Cherry Jalapeno recharge. Because these footballs are frozen and they're likely to die. And also like when using Doom, be sure like the Cherry Jalapenos are also ready. And about Gigas, so a good indicator of whether to squash a Giga is that uh, when a Giga has a, a like a scar on its head, then it's basically dead. Uh, you don't need, you just need to stall it once or twice, but like if you, if it doesn't have scars, it's better to squash them. And when Doom explodes, just stall the footballs on the other side. And the, this, these two Gigas don't, they don't have any scar, so I'll squash them after the footballs die. And the cherry can be put a little late, because like, you can ensure that the new wave of zombies is hit. So this football dies, I'm going to squash these Gigas. And just stall them once or twice more, and they should die. And also, you can stall simultaneously with the footballs. And this Giga doesn't have a scar, so later I'm going to find some ways to kill it. But now I, I can only stall it and then wait for my squash to recharge. I was about to. Because, like, they're frozen, so, like, one scan fodder should be enough to kill it. And these Gigas are also getting wild. But for these Gigas, like, I'm pretty sure, like, Cherry Bomb can reach it. But, uh, throwing at them. For Doom here, it's, uh, it cannot, as I said before, it cannot reach the jacks that have just spawned, so just delay the timing by one or two seconds. So, like, one, two, Doom. And then this Giga, I can stall it still. And that's the wrap up. So let's put Perry and Jalapeno to further burn the Gigas. And this Giga will be bombed. Because it has a scar on its head, so it should die like when, when, whenever bombed. Just continue to stall the Gigas. And this should die even if I don't stall it. Now it dies. And squash if necessary. But I don't need to squash because like those are the only gigas surviving. So if you bomb them once and just keep stalling them like this, uh, they will almost be guaranteed to die. We can put a squash here, and this the purpose of this squash will be explained later. And can start an ice here meanwhile. You can see like there are a lot of gigas, but they should die pretty soon. So just freeze the bungees, and so if there are zombies, this squash is going to. Uh, squash the zombie, and then like, oh, did I use the wrong ice? Oh, the, so anyway, so this squash is going to squash the zombie if there are, and then so the zombie won't leave any ice trail here. So I can put a doom here later, because here I only have one room, sh one winch man to kill the zombies, so the firepower is a little weak, and we can use squash here to damage the gigas and, and stone ice. Probably, so just use them. That's a mistake, isn't it? Oh, I can still put jalapeno here. So as I said, like in traditional four cop, also if this is full, just uh, just shovel this ice to put jalapeno. So if like you have an ice on here, because if you have an ice on, that pro probably means that you have a lot of ice to use. So it won't hurt that much to lose an ice. So just continue to stall the Gigas and maybe also the footballs, but these Gigas, like, they have scars, so they are probably dying. And now, like, the Gigas are disappearing, so the tempo is kind of quick. So in the first half, I used, like, Doom, Cherry, Halpian, and then two eyes, but now I'm using, like, three eyes or so. Okay. Now it spawns, but... Seems like I don't have a good spot for Doom, do I? Like, these two are all covered, are all unavailable. I'm, I'm going to continue to use ice. Although I'm supposed to use, now it recovers, but it's too late. 
so I'm supposed to use Doom, but for some reason it just doesn't recover. And whenever you, you use Doom, you should like stall the other side of the footballs. Because like the other side they're not slowed down, or they're not frozen nor are they stalled. So put Jalapeno here and Cherry Bomb. Also stall the side not covered by the Jalapeno after the zombie explodes. But now they're frozen so they shouldn't be too big of a deal. So now as you can see we lose some ice but like because we have plenty so they should have plenty of time to recharge. And now I guess that's the wrap up, isn't it? So now, now our ISIS are back. Just stall the normal Gargon tours like once or twice. They should also die. And even if like the Gargon tours manage to smash the fume, we can always plant it back. So it's kind of not too big of a deal. And for the final wrap up, uh, we use squash on row one, and then cherry on row on row one also, jalapeno on row six. So now let's analyze. So row on row one, Giga is having bombed twice; they're guaranteed to die. Row two, bombed once, also guaranteed to die. Row three, they're not bombed. So. And all, even if and they're not bombed and frozen once, so if you stall it like one more time, they're all almost guaranteed to die. And for row uh, six, they're only bombed once, but if if you stall them, just keep stalling them, they're also guaranteed to die. So if you stall him like here in column six or seven, like once or twice, they are guaranteed to die. But if you stall them on column eight or nine because they're not in the range of the gloom, you need like to stall them a few more times I can store an ice here so if they come close to the gloom you don't need to wait crap killed my ice but doesn't matter <laughs> I'm too confident that like it shouldn't smash my eyes but unfortunately it does so but it doesn't matter like for slow time we just have too many eyes to waste so yeah Hi, so here I'm going to demonstrate a fast tempo for radio clock. So fast tempo, you can see no Giga, no Gargon Tour, just football is the toughest zombie, and also Jack. So we will still bring the instance, but our plan, as I said before, is to ignore row 2 and dump our, all of our instance on row 5. So row 2 may have a small chance of being bombed, so we need to bring the Gloom Seed packet to, to prevent that. So to put the plants back even if something's killed. So to begin with, we begin with Doom. Still the same sequence. And then like Cherry Jalapeno alone, because like we're ignoring row 2, we, we don't put anything on row 2. Oh, it's falling so slowly that that ice is going to die. Oh, no it doesn't. Okay, that's kind of extreme. You can see like row 2 we have 3 winter mans to hit the jacks, so even if I don't suppress anything, it's okay. Just continue to use ice. Just use ice until the doom and jalapeno recharge. Okay, ice again. You can see like I'm approximately using like 3 ice per, per doom, I would say. So now like the jalapeno is about to recharge so it's time to use doom. And then jalapeno. And then like because I have no way to stall that football, that football may like bite this gloom, this fume. To prevent that you may want to like stall the footballs with the fume shroom. But because like the fume shroom one is expensive, so maybe don't use too much fume shroom. But some fume shroom is necessary. See, the footballs will still get a bite, but not too much damage. So that's the wrap up. That fume shroom is also bitten a few. And for the first huge wave, just breathe. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, the bungees. And also the jack. So delay our time here a little bit. And just ensure the jacks are frozen. And there's no zombies, so could I put an extra not really, because like later after all that sequence the things will be killed. So uh, Doom is about to recharge so we can put Doom here. Or maybe you can put it here. Like we can see like here uh Five uh, slash eight is available, so like if it's available, it's worth it here. So because here it can reach more, and also it can be like always covered by ice. So the jalapeno. Also, if you see no jacks, you don't need to like put anything here. And then cherry bomb. Oh, these two goons died. Nice. So. Uh, these two goom sides, um, no big worries, just continue our jack suppression and at the end maybe we can put them back. Just continue with our... Because like, the re main structure is still resistant to zombies and football. Uh, pretty much footballs, maybe not 100% to the footballs, but it's still okay. Because like, the footballs, because like, we freeze the footballs very frequently so that it's like, damaged. So if the footballs are not frozen, they will just charge up and and bite everything, but since they're frozen, not no big of a deal. Yeah, so the footballs are also dying, the zombies. So thanks to this boom here. Next wave we are gonna use Doom after these zombies explode. So like if we don't have crater here, just continue to use ice, but if we have one, you can use Doom. Like wait one, two, boom. Like, I mean they may take two bites, but and then jalapeno. Meanwhile, we can put that back. We can put the goon back. Hopefully, Jack don't take it out. And this goon may suffer from some bites, but that's not too much damage, I hope. Oh, that is covered by ice trail, but here it's not. So the boom is like suffering some damage due to the footballs, but that's kind of like un unavoidable. Like if there are no boom here, like it's going to be worse. And we lose a fume here, but it's also not big of a deal. Because like on row 1, we have so many wind commands to hit, to splash damage the back on, on row 1. So like losing a fume is not a very big deal. And also the probability that Jack taking out these this boom is pretty low, I, I would say. It's pretty rare. It's like maybe like once per like five or ten flags would they do that. Let's just plant the boom back. So if we bring the boom packet, it's pretty easy to fix. Easy fix. And then like we don't lose any ice. As you can see here. This pumpkin is damaged though, but like we start with five ice and now we end with five. And this is, is this is about to recharge. So this fast tempo, although we lose some sun and lose two glooms in the progress, we put everything back at the end, and also we don't lose any ice, which is like very good for cobblers. So for like for example, for mechanical clock in fast tempo, we will typically like lose two ice. And like if you have like three consecutive fast tempo, it's going to be very troublesome. But for this radio clock, it's not too big of a, too big of a deal. 